I've done a degree at Sydney Uni in languages, in French, German and Italian, and then I followed my parents out here when they bought the farm, and I was really quite useless, to be honest with you. And I was 20, and um, oh, I, I got some translating jobs, but for Spanish, and which was... Mm, um, and I had a series of very mind-numbing jobs and I started to draw again. I'm not, I was always arty. I was quite defiant of it though. And I started drawing, I started sketching and getting commissions to do portraiture. So I worked at one large local company. I think I drew everybody's kids and pets very early on, um, which I enjoyed doing. And then I just moved on from there and I had very supportive parents. The country I find simply because there is, it's just less densely populated and you can, I think here too, um, people are more considerate of each other because they have to learn to live together. And I can, so I can put that across the board, that thought, but when it comes to art, um, you know, you, you, you do have to learn to promote yourself. You do have to learn to do that. It's like anything, any business. Um, and. I, 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 yeah, I, I found the country very, very good for that. It was, I could never, done, never have done it in Sydney. I went back to Sydney for for two years, and thought, no, I don't want to be here. Uh, it was so like that. I felt very much like that. Edgy. Oh, just very restrictive. Uh, and whereas here, you can do what you want. I changed my style considerably. I became my, my work became known for the poppies and the roses initially, after having done lots of portraiture. In fact, so um, when I opened my when I opened my last gallery, the paintings that were in that gallery at the time were the poppies or the roses, the floating the floating poppy and rose just on one long stem. That's what that sort of style developed but I've actually developed that again with another very early style of work very linear very um, almost Celtic looking um, work I did and I've actually brought a number of styles together now um, and some of those some of those works will actually be coming into this gallery how would you describe this new style what sort of elements are in it well I can't think of one word, but, well, okay, I'll think of one word, then bejeweled, I suppose. Um, I'm very, very influenced by Gustav Klimt, and that jewel-like, I mean, I knew that, I know that he was influenced by Byzantine work, for example, all the mosaics, and I find that, I'm so attracted to sparkly things, and I, it's that pattern-like, but not too perfect, it's got to be a little bit offbeat. Um, and very, very intricate work now. Um, the paintings do take me some time to do, and lots of dot work in there, reminiscent again of what's um, like the Book of Kells. I've got, I think, I think it's the Book of Kells, the four evangelists. I hope I've got my religious terminology correct here, but Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John have got dots all the way around them, and I started off doing things like that, just with all those, those fine dot work. It can, it can take you forever to do, but it's quite meditative once you start doing them. You use a lot of gold and a lot of silver. Is that difficult to work with? True. If you get a gold that is um, brassy or tinny, um, I, one brand of paint did make a gold that I could use straight from the pot. It was terrific and they changed. Um, but I do mix the, I do mix the golds. And, and also, too, not everyone's taste is for that real gold gold you can, you can mix cool golds as well but um, I've also gone into silver recently um, silver has got a different different feel again it's that metallic quality and it can be great to paint with it can be hard to paint it with at night and it's very hard to photograph I've gone into landscapes but they're really removed they're very stylistic and and, and people do actually question whether they're landscapes, but um, they're very they're very stylistic. Um, I didn't want to paint the traditional way, like the impressionist way. Um, it's wonderful, and I know that it's very difficult. Um, and I love painting realistically, but I prefer to do faces than to do trees and things. 
I see patterns everywhere in nature. I'd rather depict that than the actual tree itself. I like to pick elements of the tree or even turn the tree into something um, that it's not. Um, I know that gum trees don't have, you know, little lines and dots, you know, but it's just how I interpret their, their, their forms, their patterns, so. Where do you think art is going? I don't think there's any, there's no shock element anymore unless you become almost deadly, I think. Nothing, this is just my personal opinion. I think in a way we've achieved an awful lot as far as it, you can paint anything now and I think there's a, there's a great freedom out there. Um, we can't live, I suppose, what the Impressionists did at their time and that was all so different at the time. There's none of that sort of, no radical little art movements. I'm sure they happened but I don't think they had the same impact that they did 100 years ago. So there's a freedom to actually paint now. Um, but I think the internet's changing things too. It's, 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 so I think where our artists going as well to, to develop that point a bit further is that artists are finding themselves able to make their work more accessible. So things are changing in leaps and bounds for artists um, and I do think there is a, a strong sense of liberation just from 100 years of people doing things that um, are, can be considered shocking. What would you like to be held famous for? Just painting my own thing. That's all I can, it's a very complicated answer. Um, just, just, it's not necessarily to be famous for, it's, it's literally to, um, to be able to do what you want. It's that freedom. Um, to, to paint what you want. That's part of the reason I have my own galleries, because I can put on the wall what I want to paint. Um, and, and I say that too, I'm not against galleries, I do exhibit with them. I'm just saying I can put, I have, it's easier for me to put something that I really want to put on the wall, um, if, if I have my own. And also, yeah, it's, it, well, it's just that freedom. If you weren't painting, what would you be doing? Playing the piano. Mm. And then after that, probably a chef. So, also similar, <laughs> um, that you do something arty in all of them.